Hey guys, here's a quick tip for getting the most out of your music. Maybe you've got a really long playlist. So for me, I've got this PE 90s mix. It's got 116 songs on it. If I'm playing that all week, even if I hit shuffle, there may be five or six songs that I hear five or six times during the week and some songs that I never hear at all. And that's the problem with the smart shuffle that's available on all music apps. But um, there's a way around this to where you can hear all of the songs and then just not get sick of it. And that comes in this powerful app that Apple has on all devices, uh, iPads, iPhones, uh, called Shortcuts. It comes in iOS 13. You can download it for iOS 12. It's so powerful. It's one of my favorite things to ever use. Um, it's this little app down here with the S at the bottom. So I'm going to open that up and notice my bottom right corner. I've got a shortcut called PE 90s. So if I just tap that, that's going to run that shortcut. It's going to play that playlist, but it's going to start at the song that I played the longest time ago. Uh, and so here's how it's built. There's three actions. The top one is getting songs in that playlist. The next one is the most important one, and that's um, filtering the playlist and sorting it by the last play date and the oldest first, and then it's going to play it. So here's how you build it. I'm going to close this out and show you how it's done. All you're going to do is we're going to find the playlist. So we're going to say get playlist, add that, put in PE 90s or whatever you call your playlist. Then I'm going to add find music and it's going to filter that playlist and it's going to sort by last play date and then oldest first. Um, the next thing that I would need to do is I need to play the music. And so with those three actions, I've made my shortcut. Um, <clears throat> Now, if you want to rename it, you can rename it in here. Just change the name right there. You can change the icon to, you know, any of these that you want. Change the color, whatever looks great for you. Um, and it's just awesome. And it'll show up down here. Now, there's a couple more ways that you can take advantage of this app. And I put together some of my favorite ways to do that. It's on BeWellPlayed.com. It's awesome. You should check it out. Here's a little glimpse into what you can do. Um, you can add these shortcuts to your widgets. And if I hit this PE one, I can do my music. Now this is going to show me some of my favorite playlists. And some of these have combined playlists. Um, so for instance, I make my playlists two a year. I do one in the spring of every year, one in the fall of every year. So this playlist at the top is the four latest. This gets fall 2019, spring 2019, fall 2018, and spring 2018 puts them all together and then plays the song that I played the longest ago. Um, it's just an incredibly powerful way to keep the music fresh in your space. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out the blog, bewellplayed.com, and uh, let me know what you think.